Hello, this is Joseph from Gorilla 3D. Uh, so what I'm going to do with these videos that I'm now posting is generate uh, a web developer's diary, um, or vlog, or blog, whatever they're going to call it, um, doesn't really matter. Um, and so what I'm going to be working on is uh, a, a kind of 3D renderer. Um, I'm not going to be actually be working on a 3D renderer itself, but rather the interface to be able to push uh, 3D scenes into it. Um, so the technologies I'm going to use on the web are uh, HTML5 Canvas. Um, right now I'm only going to be using the 2D specification because 3D does not work well on my network. Um, so, you know, it just continues to crash. Uh, so I'm going to use uh, Ortho uh, 2D, which is basically a non-perspective, uh, which is what you would use normally see for a lot of 3D scenes. Um, so it's still manageable, but it won't be true 3D. Um, and so that's that's going to be for my uh, it's going to be Canvas. I'm also going to be using uh, Moo Tools. I hate that name, uh, but it's um, modular object oriented tools. Um, so that's going to help me with my JavaScript and like drag and drop events and stuff. I'm going to be using uh, like a circle with the Canvas. It's going to draw the circle. It's not going to be an entire Canvas interaction um, because I've already tried this before. Trying to do drop and drag. Uh, or re recreate drop and drag on the canvas is a bit painful, and until I can find a good library to make that for me, there's no point in me wasting my time. Uh, so I'm still going to use the HTML DOM elements, but each element can be like a canvas circle, a canvas line, or something like that. Um, so that's what's going to happen on the browser side. Um, I'm going to allow them to, to generate their scenes on a browser, and it's going to be sent to a server. And now the server is going to be a RenderMan uh, specific uh, render. Uh, it's uh, RenderMan's part of what uh, Pixar made for a lot of their movies. They use uh, realistic RenderMan, uh, but with that, they actually use a specified uh, file format called RSpec or RIB, um, and that is just a really simple way to describe your scenes. It's very much like HTML, where you have blocks, and in, inside of the blocks can be other blocks, and it's just really describing how you want your your scene to look. Um, so there's a bunch of renderers out there that already do this. There's two really in mind for me, uh, Aquarius, I think, and uh, Pixie. Um, Aquarius is a little bit slower to render those um, scenes than, than Pixie. Um, I did a simple test on my netbook, and like uh, Aquarius took uh, 800 milliseconds to render a simple circle, uh, versus Pixie, it took like 100 milliseconds. So it's, it's a bit of a difference. Um, also, Pixie supports global illumination uh, and uh, ambient occlusion, which is basically like applying light all the way around the object, um, and other few ray tracing attributes. Uh, so the, the biggest benefit between just using a RenderMan uh, type renderer is that they tend to be able to render scenes, very large scenes, uh, very efficiently. Uh, so what the photorealistic render man does is actually uses uh, an algorithm, not algorithm, but just a technique called the Reyes. And what that can do is just generate uh, very uh, detailed renderings of very complex scenes in very little time. Um, so Pixie and Aquarius both implement those, and it's a very, very much hybrid renderer. So they use Reyes rendering for. Uh, some of the simple um, 3D scenes, but if you're going to get into like soft shadow um, um, generation, then it's gonna, you're going to want to be using the ray tracing attributes. Um, so I'm not going to really dwell too much into that, but it's just basically uh, uh, a good thing to kind of pick up. So I'm be mixing in a little bit server side code, but mostly I'm going to be working a lot on the clients. Um, so hopefully throughout the next few weeks or even months, you guys will be able to watch my evolution of my project and be able to maybe even use it yourself.